All right, in this video, we're talking about stretching your imagination and giving yourself permission to think bigger than your current circumstances. If you are someone that's having a hard time visualizing, let me tell you, this is the video for you. So go ahead and like the video, comment on the YouTube channel, and let me know in the comment section if this video helps you out. Because what I'm about to do is take you from where you are to mentally where you want to be. Now, I started off as a very fearful kid, okay? And I was so afraid of dreaming bigger in the very beginning. But then one day, as a child, I realized that in order to escape the chaos that I was raised in, all I had was my imagination. So my current circumstances caused me to vision myself beyond where I was. And so to escape the family violence, I would imagine that I was safe to escape the overwhelming emotion of fear, I would imagine that I was brave. And in order to escape feeling self-conscious about myself, I would imagine that I was courageous. And this was way before I learned about the law of attraction. And you know what happened? All of those things that I imagined end up happening, but I I didn't know about the power of the mind, right? And so what I naturally started to do was even though all of those things started to happen, I still, I didn't understand the power of the mind. So I would go back to negative thinking, thinking about the worst case scenarios, thinking about doom and gloom, being self, you know, judging myself again, worrying about what other people would think about me. And what it caused me to do was shrink, okay? And I want to let you know something that if you are riddled with anxiety, it means that you are shrinking your vision. Your, your soul, your spirit wants to express itself freely. And when you keep it trapped in a cage, you shrink it down and that causes you to stress stress is your soul trying to break free of that small cage that you trapped it in i didn't realize that i thought stress was an indicator that i was doing something wrong or that something bad was going to happen and you know what things went wrong bad things happened years later i started understanding the power of the mind and I made myself a promise. I said, first and foremost, I'm going to live every single day. And this is where it starts with you. You got to make a decision. Tell yourself that every single day, you're going to make up your mind to become the master of your mind and the master of your emotions. And that you're going to think the best thoughts you could possibly think about yourself and the world around you. And once you commit to that, once you commit to that, all of these other ideas that are attached with that one choice are going to start being pulled to you. I was trained to be a small thinker at a very young age. My family members criticized anybody that had money. They became jealous of each other and it trained me to think small and I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying that I adapted to my environment and you might be in a position to where you have adapted to your environment. And I'm here to tell you, you have to create a new internal environment. See yourself in the reality you would like to be in and don't speak anything else about the reality you don't want to be in. I don't care if it's true or not. If you have financial difficulties right now, 
Stop talking about them right now. Cut it out. Don't tell anybody else that you can't afford something. Don't tell anybody else that you're having financial difficulties. Don't even tell yourself. You got to psych yourself out and start making yourself believe that you have it. And it doesn't mean you need to go out and tell it to other people. Do this internally for yourself because your mind can't tell the difference between something that you are imagining and something that you're actually experiencing in real time. When I realized that, I started telling myself a new story because I realized that my reality back then was based off of the story I was telling myself about myself and the world around me. And you got to get like that too. You got to start telling yourself a new story about yourself and the world around you. And you got to do it all day long. I'm talking about when you're driving in the car. I'm talking about when you are eating, when you're bathing, when you're working. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You got to get behind the driver's seat of your brain and your entire mind and start telling yourself a new story about yourself. You see, my story was that I was a kid from a broken home. And although that is my past, I realized that continuously telling that story over and over again was creating that same scenario in different ways in my, at my present back then. And I'm here to tell you, you have to tell yourself a new story. You have to become delusional about your reality that you are creating. The biggest mistake I made in the beginning is when I, when I discovered the power of the mind. Instead of just putting it in the practice, in the privacy of my own dome, I started reaching out to all my family and friends and trying to convince them that it was true. And I wasted so much time and energy trying to convince other people that it was true that you can create your reality with the power of your mind that I failed to create my reality with the power of my mind consciously. Two years passed after I knew the law of attraction and nothing miraculous happened. And then one day I, I, re, I realized that I had to start using the information instead of just talking about it. I had to start walking it. And this is what I'm encouraging you to do. After you make up your mind that you're going to start telling yourself a new story about yourself and the world around you, I want you to clearly write down what your storyline is. You got to look at it like you're writing a movie, like you are an actor in a movie. And you might start off, you know, where you were in your childhood, but I want you to pick up from where you are right now and start writing out a new script for your life as if it's a movie and that you're a character in that movie. And then I want you to wake up every single day and I want you to read your script. That way you know what your role is in this movie called life. Start living it out every single day. And your job is to never go off script. I want you to imagine that you're already that CEO. Imagine that you're already that boss. Imagine that you're already in that relationship that you want to be in. So for me, the first thing I started manifesting was happiness. I was so depressed growing up, I never knew what happiness felt like. So the first thing I wanted was to be happy. And so I spent two years learning how to be happy. I got really, really good at just being happy. And then right after that, I started focusing on the money. And I focused on the money over and over and over again. and got really, really good at that. And I thought I was set. But then I realized there was another level to it. There was the relationship component. Then I started focusing on, oh, man, if I could consciously choose a relationship, a relationship I would love to be in, what would that look like? And I started getting really, really clear about the type of relationship I wanted to be in. I wanted to be with somebody that had a lot in common with me, someone I could talk to about different things. You know, the point is, get specific. I realized that I hadn't wrote, I hadn't written the script down for my relationship when I didn't have good finances, I realized I, had, I didn't have the script written out for my finances. So you got to write the script. You are the architect of your own existence. But if you don't write the script, you're basically going on autopilot. 
you know, when law of attraction teachers tell you to do affirmations, they're basically telling you to memorize a script. That's a easy way of saying, hey, you need a script. You ever heard The Rock when he was in the WWF? He would say, know your role, right? I always love that saying, know your role. And so many people are walking around in earth, in, on earth drifting because they don't know their role. They don't even know what role they play. And I think they're waiting on some magical, you know, deity to just deliver them their role. And sometimes you can find it that way, but you can write it. You can write it starting today. You can write it down by saying something as simple as, my name is Robbie Cornelius. And I am the master of my mind. And I wake up every single day happy. And I do exactly what I love doing every single day of my life. And I have multiple streams of income that comes in on autopilot every single day. I have a YouTube channel where I'm attracting all of the most amazing people from all around the world. I teach people all across the world how to master their minds and make money online. I'm the owner of a marketing agency by the name of Southern Web Service. You can literally write all of this out. I wrote all of that out. And I'm still writing today. My thoughts are still expanding today. I'm still reaching. And we have to be careful not to get to a place to where we're comfortable, where we're no longer stretching our imagination, where we're no longer stretching our mind. We have to constantly stretch our minds. Stretch your mind. You're stretching your mind anyway. Most people are just stretching their mind to think about things they don't want to experience. That's what stress is. You're shrinking. You're thinking about little things that causing that causes your nervous system to freak out. Start thinking about bigger things. There's no crime against thinking big. It's legal to think big, at least here in America. It's here to it's legal to dream big. It's okay for you to have a dream bigger than where you are right now. I'm here to let you know that it's okay. And it's okay to be around people that are comfortable with you thinking big. People that you're not in competition with, but people that you are in collaboration with. It's okay. It's okay for you to be happy. It's okay for you to feel good. It's okay for you to live good. It's okay for you to think bigger. It's okay for you to think richer than you currently do right now. It's okay. And you need to know that. It's also okay for you to join Mind Master Society where I teach people from all around the world how to master their minds, how to attract the things they want to attract, how to attract the love they want, the money they want, the career they want, the state of being they want. Everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be free. Everybody wants to wake up and feel like they live a life that feels like it's truly theirs. And that's what I am passionate about helping people do. I chose that. But before I chose that, I walked around the world drifting like most people do. And I'm here to let you know, you don't have to drift. You can decide right now that today is the day you are going to change things. You got to get around people that are okay with you dreaming bigger. And that's what I'm here to help you do. Go to mindmastersociety.com and I can help you dream bigger. I can help you believe in yourself. I can help you believe that it's possible for you to go for your dreams. If you have self-esteem issues, I can hypnotize you to get rid of those self-esteem issues and start feeling confident about yourself. Because it takes confidence to get on the internet with my shirt off and a baldy and talk to you about the things that I'm talking to you about. How did I do that? Is it natural? No, it's not natural. I trained my brain to believe that I was capable of helping people and that's what I'm here to do. That's why I'm on the planet, okay? So help me help you by going to mindmastersociety.com. Talk to you soon.